take your eye off the ball or the prize. Alright, we don't have the lemon in the tea here today, but we have a pink grapefruit. Maybe this glass is too big for uh, for the one tea bag. But I'm wondering why it takes so long to. Uh, save me. I'm in love with a thinker. Alright, this is. Ooh, it's so cold, man. This is this is what I meant. See, all right, let me explain something here. I gotta fix my hair a little bit. We just we're just getting in here, but I just felt a, a full charge here. Especially, uh, see, I'm like a teacher. If you watch certain things, I know you don't know, know enough time to watch a long video like that. It's well over an hour. It was on C-SPAN, and it's Amy um, Cor Coringo. Oh. Amy Coringer. That's right the first time. Or on the intro. Anyway, uh, she's there teaching uh, modern religion utopias. And, uh, I don't know, just looking for something, uh, something nice. Because I have a degree, so us people with degrees, uh, if, if we, uh, if we're smart, we, we, uh, we use what we're taught to uh, to help, and I just don't quite understand it because I mean it, it, it took me a while to find a good teacher like that, like like watching her teach the class. Uh, she was very uh, like theatrical in her approach, very animated. You know, I mean, stopping at everything. I mean, she I mean, it, it was like. You know, she didn't miss a trick. You know, she brought up very nice, very right. And you can see that, you know, you can just see her talking about a subject like this to these students and just storytelling it about the whole era, about the Father Divine, about Jim Jones, about all that kind of stuff, you know, um, the era, the socialism, the the push. She's like, in one one moment, she's like, the shoes. She's like, it's like, they wanted everyone, they could want to convince everyone to wear the same shoes. So like what we got going on a little bit here. It's like what behavior, you know, talk about behavioral, you know, and that's why everything is kind of messed up because sometimes, you know, we have these people that are not meant to do a certain thing, but they don't know. They're just in class. They're just, they look at each other like they wait for someone to talk. It's like, you know, and if they say something they, they agree with, they agree. I mean, I mean, everyone's got their own, like, uh, hang-ups and screw-ups. But if you could be, you know, accepted by your peers and everything, you know, that that that's the start. But as long as whatever you're agreeing on, you agree with, or else you're just, uh, you know, you're lost. But if you find a whole bunch of people like I've seemed to have found a little bit, I mean, sure, I, I could I could be King Jerry Lightworker here this day, today, February 9th, whatever it is. But I chose to do a good show. I chose to speak up. I chose to take on things. I didn't want to stay silent about it. And for that, um, I think you know, I've got ways to go. I'm learning. But I would have just been a fraud. I would have been a fake. I would have 5,000 friends here. And I would be posting up, uh, you know, just any day. I'll find you a quote or something, a nice picture, and you're going to. No. I'm more physical, theatrical, and all that, and street interviews, guy and a girl, how you doing, Twinkles? Yes! God help me, I'm in the world of thinker, Save me! I could just think a thousand people right off the bat. Sometimes when I get up, I'm like, all these people, like, I remember I used to get up, and I remember I used to see them, and they're like, after every show, like, ten would drop, 
20 would drop, maybe I get three add-ons, you know, at one point I was moving, you know, then I started doing the West One Radio.